Sometimes I wonder why we bother going to school. To learn, of course. Well, yes. But why is it that we have to go to a building specifically designed for this purpose? Why can't we just sit at home and read books? Whatever it is that is taught in school can be learned out of a book. In fact, it almost always is taught out of a book. Teachers and college professors alike will assign books that they will teach out of and then later assign you to read from. So, why not cut out the middleman? Why waste time going to school to learn when we can do it from anywhere else or on our own? According to Edu Adviso, while the school does equip you with important knowledge, it doesn't teach you certain practical things you need to know in life. In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 important things you don't learn in school. If you're new here, I'm sure it would benefit you so much if you subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this. One answer is obviously that most people will choose not to bother with learning. As a result, society will suffer as a whole. Secondly, people need to form mini societies when going up to learn the importance of social interactions and influence. Therefore, the chance of the world getting rid of schooling institutions is zero. But don't think for one minute that what school have to offer is all the knowledge that one needs to have a life of prosperity. In fact, the most important lesson one will learn will be learned outside of the classroom. Here are 10 things you won't learn in school. 1. People are only looking out for themselves. School can be rather competitive. Students compete for their teacher's favor and compete in sports. However, nothing will teach you the importance of competition as when you enter life after school. With technology getting more and more advanced, the world is getting smaller and smaller. This means that the competition is getting bigger and bigger. While in school, you only had to worry about your fellow classmates. When out in the real world, you have to now not only worry about everyone else in the country you live in, but now often have to compete with the rest of the world. If you think good grades were good motivation, wait until you see how money motivates people. Outside of school, you will learn that people will cheat, lie, and even kill for money. You will also realize how shallow people can be. You will meet all kinds of people and marvel at what they will do to stay on top. You will learn not to ever fully trust people because even people who have been friends with people for a long time can still betray them. If you are not careful, you will lose yourself in the meaningless struggle for something that isn't really as valuable. Number 2. The importance of being patient and staying positive. School is set up in a way where we are only made to make short-term goals. Each year is split into semesters and our only goal is to get good grades by the time that we get our report card. We get assignments, we complete them and then after 3 months or so, we get assessed on our work and reap the rewards. Real life does not work this way. Nothing worth doing takes only 3 months to conquer. Outside of the classroom, our goals are much more long-term and can take years to transpire. We quickly learn the importance of being patient and keeping a positive mindset to survive. If we don't, then we quickly lose our cool and make dumb rash decisions. It will come as a shock to a lot of young school leavers when they realize this. If you are not prepared, you may never accomplish any of your dreams. Life can move so fast, sometimes you find yourself juggling several responsibilities while still working on your passion. It is best to work hard and associate with the right people. It will make your journey less rough. 3. The Importance of Self-Improvement Self-improvement teaches us that we must improve to succeed. Life teaches us that we must improve to live. While in school, we learn because we must learn to keep up with the curriculum. This in itself is important when entering the workforce. It teaches us that slacking can often at times produce poor results. However, after we graduate, we often find that work is not only what life is about. We learn that we should not just improve the skills that make us better at what we do, but also improve the skills that make us better people. You will also come to realize that without some key skills you were not taught in school, you may never get into your dream job. Life is not always simple. Many of you have student loans to pay off while trying to figure out how to go for further studies or get a job more in line with your interest. School certainly will not prepare you for the mental stress. But hey, when you get to the river, you will cross it. 
4. Doing things for the love of doing them. Doing things because we must do them just doesn't quite fly in our adulthood. We may need to sometimes do things that we would prefer not to do, but being adults make us feel as if we have a right to decide for ourselves what it is that we ought to do. Life teaches us to start doing things not because others tell us to do them, but rather because we want to do them. We learn that the easiest way for us to become successful is to find what we love and to spend as much time and put as much passion into it as possible. What do you love doing? If you never had to work for money again, what would you spend the rest of your life doing? In reality, many of us don't yet know and it is okay not to know. What is important is that you are thinking about it. Very few schools will help you discover this. So, make up your mind to find yourself. 5. Friends aren't as important as we thought. Friends are great to have, but people grow in different directions and life often removes those that once were closest to us. Having a handful or less of friends is crucial, but understanding that you can always make new ones is also important. Life teaches us that with friends or without friends, we remain who we are. Our friends don't make us, we make us. This understanding helps us cope with friends who betray us. After school, you will come to understand that friends are also people with their own agenda. 6. The Importance of Networking School can teach us how to make friends, but life teaches us the importance of powerful acquaintances and how to make them. When in school, a possible network is at the minimum. We just aren't exposed to enough people, not to mention people that hold power in the real world. Once free to roam about in the real world, we quickly learn that getting ahead in life often depends on whom you know and how good of terms you are with them. When you are out of school, you even realize that you may even have to read books to understand how best to network or relate with people. These things will come into play especially when you want to get into a top company or when you have a lot of interviews scheduled. 7. Some things are simply out of our control. The classroom is a small environment with few variables. If something goes wrong, we can often quickly fix it or avoid it entirely. We have control. After leaving the classroom, the variables multiply exponentially. We no longer have the control we once had and often at times find ourselves at a loss of even figuring out from where the issue is arising. Dealing with such circumstances for long enough teaches us that if we find things to be out of control, there is no point in getting hung on them. So, we let them go and focus on what we can influence. 8. If we don't adapt, we won't survive. The school system is static, unchanging. Life is everything but. Things, situations and circumstances are changing constantly and more often than not, without any warning. After falling a few times on our asses, we learn that if we want to survive and prosper, we must adapt and do so quickly. 9. We aren't Superman or Wonder Woman. Tackling task after task in school, playing sports and getting involved in extracurricular activities for many of us comes easy. Doing this for long enough gets us feeling that we can take on the world. But then, we meet the world. All of a sudden, our superhuman power disappears and we become overwhelmed. We come to realize that there's a lot more maintenance required than we first thought. Laundry doesn't do itself, the apartment doesn't clean itself, bills pile up and we're the ones that have to pay them. Free time quickly becomes a cherished commodity. 10. Less means more, quality over quantity. Doing more to get ahead may have worked in high school. But getting a real job most often doesn't allow for the same strategy. Some people may appreciate quantity over quality, but with the change in times, this sort of thinking is becoming extinct. We may find ourselves having to redo the same project several times, cutting out the excess fat to produce something worth selling.